everyone, this is Mark with MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com bringing you a Hurricane Irene update for today, August 27th, 2011. This is the second update for advisory number 29 Alpha from the National Hurricane Center. This will be number number two for us here at MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com and this is as of 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time from the National Hurricane Center saying that this is a corrected advisory. Winds right now have increased in size in the storm, but I want to take a quick look at the actual radar uh, on Google Earth real fast, and I'll show you a real good radar to take a look at. This one radar shows a lot of storms and showers that are continuing to enter in Northern Carolina all the way up to Virginia, Washington, D.C., Maryland, Delaware, and um, also New Jersey, of course. We're going to continue to keep you posted from what's happening with the National Hurricane Center as well, but we're taking a good look of the storm system using Google Earth. And right now, the information coming in from the National Hurricane Center says the maximum sustained winds are at 85 miles per hour or 75 knots, and it's still a category one hurricane. Minimum central pressure is at 950 millibars. Location, if you're tracking it with MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com, is going to be at 35.5 degrees north and 76.3 degrees west. Movement is currently north northwest and 11 knots or 13 miles per hour. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some information from my website directly at MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com. If you take a look at this radar, it shows a very good image of our Hurricane Irene here. I'm going to take a look at some information coming in from this radar. If you see these uh, little check marks that are unchecked, you can check these and it will show you the low pressure systems and it will show you all the information that you want to know about what is around the storm. So right now we're taking a look at the front, the frontal systems. And this is what's causing the storm to move in that direction and is moving now because we have a front right here and also a front just north of it that will cause our storm to continue to move north northeast and right now according to the National Hurricane Center it is currently moving at 11 knots or 13 miles per hour so again we'll continue to keep you posted moving a little further down here we got uh, information posted on MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com you can take a look at Hurricane Irene advisory number 29 alpha there and also we have some regional warnings of course that we went through before and I'll go through them again uh, that's pretty much the same right now it just shows a little difference is a little river inlet northern Carolina to Singapore Beach including the Pamlico and Upper Mill Certic Sounds Delaware Bay Chesapeake Bay south of Drum Point New York City Long Island Long Island Sounds, Coastal Connecticut, and Rhode Island, Block Island, and Martha's Vineyard, and Nantucket. Still the same thing, and warnings and updates are still the same. Again, the main threat is the storm surge, which is still showing up to 9 feet now. has gone down since earlier, which was about 11 to 12 feet. has gone down 5 to 9 feet above ground level in the hurricane warning areas, including New York, or including Northern Carolina and Albemarle and Pam Liquid Sound. So again folks stay tuned even though it's still a category one we're going to be seeing a lot of major problems. Also wanted uh, you to check out a friend of mine here on YouTube. He's got a lot of good information coming in about climate change as far as the weather goes. Go ahead and click on this video right here. It'll take you straight to his YouTube channel and again uh, check it out and uh, subscribe there too as well. Don't forget to subscribe to Mr. Hurricane Tracker and check out the website here. We are currently on red alert or red condition red. If you click on the color alerts, you'll learn more how, how that works. So again, stay tuned to MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com. Click on radars for the latest radars. And if you do that, it'll show you a list of radars that you can go to in this particular area that we're having some trouble with Hurricane Irene. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment, and have a wonderful day.